Okay, let me tell you a story about what happened to me the other day, but this is one wild story. So sit tight and pay attention, alright? I woke up that morning feeling a little tired, not too tired, just the right amount of tiredness for a day like this where I'm giving my first presentation at work. I put my big boy pants on, my good luck sweater, and I fed my birds. Ah, aren't they so cute? Anyways, I made myself a cup of coffee and that's when Jack, my partner at work, called me. We made sure we had everything ready and perfect. We even made a backup plan, of a backup plan, of a backup plan. Now here's the important part. Our client, Mr. Kwon, was from Korea. And yes, my family's from Korea, but honestly, I don't really consider myself Korean. Because, I don't know, that's not relevant. Jack suggested that I do the meeting in Korean in case Mr. Kwon didn't know English, and that'll also help us connect with him more. But meh, I don't really feel comfortable speaking Korean. So I said no. I got in my car, drove to work, and I started the presentation. And Jack was right. Mr. Kwan didn't know English and didn't have a translator. I was trying to figure out what I could do but just couldn't think of anything. And then, all of a sudden, time freezed and out of nowhere, a portal opened. And this guy, who looks exactly like me, says, Hey you! Or, hey me. You're coming with me. I walked with him through the portal and guess where he took me? My backyard. He explained to me that he's from this organization called the Crisis in Heritage and Identity Preservation Sector. CHIPS for short. And then he proceeded to offer me their own chips. It's kind of funny now that I think about it. Anyways, he told me that we're actually in his office, but he made it look like we're in my backyard because he wanted me to feel comfortable. And that's why he also looks exactly like me. He said he knew all of my life and everything I've said and done. Apparently, I've lost touch with my heritage and culture too much and that he is here to help me reconnect and find my own identity. To that, I said, what? Because what else am I supposed to say? I told him that I don't care about my heritage and that I need to go back to work and finish my presentation. He then said he can't send me back yet and pulled some black magic and snapped in front of my face to transport me to another dimension. And then it hit me. I can't describe in words what exactly happened to me after, but I realized something. All those years, I thought I was a misfit. The black sheep and a huddle of white sheep. Ever since I was young, I learned that I looked different from all the other kids around me. Not only did I look different, I sounded different. My culture was different, my food was different, my name was different. And until that moment, I thought I was in the wrong. And I was constantly denying who I really am and trying to change myself to be in the right. But that's not the truth. In fact, that's the farthest thing there is from the truth. The truth is that we're all different and we have to celebrate our differences. We are all unique and special in our own ways. We have to understand that ourselves and look beyond what's on the outside, what others might think of us, and acknowledge the beauty of diversity in ourselves. It is only when you embrace and celebrate your diversity can you truly be yourself. I was the black sheep in Huddle of White Sheeps, except the huddle was actually made up of all different kinds of animals, just trying their best to stay together and understand each other. After my moment, I was sent back. I did my presentation in Korean and I nailed it. So that's my story on how I learned to be myself. Thank you for listening. Any thoughts? 